Hi, I've been meaning to make a video about uh, 2B reversals for a while now. Um, and the reason I want to show you this uh, amazing chart pattern is because it was pivotal in my sort of um, belief of the importance of precise levels on charts. Um, by that I don't mean round numbers like the 1.2 dollars to the pound or 1.1180 hundred levels and stuff like that it's about uh, just a candlestick being its own support and resistance the high of the candle so uh, sorry that's annoying me um, the 2b reversal pattern is this here it's uh, something that uh, not that one there that's one two three that's important as well but uh, the 2b reversal was pivotal to me about 10 years ago we found this and thought oh my goodness it's so the price reacted to the levels that Vic uh, this guy trader Vic, Vic Sperandio uh, said to use that it was just astonishing gobsmacking actually so basically don't worry about the number of candles we did and we shouldn't have uh, way back then uh, just look at the pattern swing one swing two swing three once you've got a swing three formed, i.e. a new low, a break of swing one's low, uh, then you have to draw this level on. And when you draw the level, that's signifying the candle that breaks that level is the candle that uh, is your uh, trigger to consider going, in this instance, long or the opposite way for shorts. So uh, you've got swing one, two, three. That's your uh, trigger or uh, alert candle, if you want, for want of a better word. And once that's closed through, well, he says once it's broken through, take the trade short in this case or long in this case. X marks the uh, line. Um, because I've got a better understanding of how price works now, I would wait for uh, the um, lower time frame to alert me, pull back to the reverse and then uh, give me the alert to the downside in other words the 3 MA crossing the 10 MA on the lower time frame but uh, that's another story but what I want to show you this is uh, on the on the charts so don't worry about the number of candles it's all about the pattern and target wise it says uh, you would go um, for the, the the start of swing one I always go for some sort of congestion area where we've got support becomes resistance and so on. Stop wise below the low of um, the entry swing. So the low of swing one, two, three, low of swing three. Um, and that's it. <clears throat> so uh, the shallower you can get these looking the better because it reduces the stop size. And um, by that, I mean, you know, the angle of the, um, the swing three, in other words. So just a, a nice little drop down here with a, a small candle there would give you a better, safer stop and a better reward risk. So on the charts, let's have a look. They're all over the place, these things. I'm going to try not to ramble. But let's just have a look at this monthly Aussie dollar chart and show you what I mean. So here's one that started uh, back in 1996 by the looks of it. Swing one, two, three and uh, ended up uh, finishing in 2004 so an eight year long 2b reversal so he says sticker a level on that low and once you get uh, a break of it that's your uh, alert if you like to consider waiting for the longs so literally these are fantastic they work on every time frame they're not the holy grail that uh, you know some might think they could be but they're worth studying because of the importance of this uh, transfer of uh, 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 belief if you like this transfer that's on the wrong one of um, buyers and sellers so we've got uh, we've got the low there swing one we've got the break here the trigger bar I think or poke bar and then once we've got to close through that is when you consider going long and you can see you know that's done what it says on the packet of the 2b reversals now 
the important thing for me is the way the price reacts once it does that notice it tested it it didn't break through well it did break through slightly by the looks of it um, but you have to have a close and you know this went down for three months got so that was significant in the fact that it reversed the price there and then when it finally did break through it's gone up now what I like about these is if you suppose you were trading a five minute chart and this was an hourly chart what you wouldn't want to consider doing is going short based on your five minute chart if you've got this massive looking or this this very strong looking remember our hourly is a very strong chart looking to be reversal potentially set up so what could you do where well, you could use uh, how how else could you use this to be reversal well you could use a lower time frame to be reversal knowing that the target for this say for example this little thing here i don't know whether it is a to be reversal but it certainly uh, looks something like it it's starting to shape up whether we'll get uh, daily data way back then i think we will yeah it's sort of looking like a 2b here let's just uh, concentrate on this bit this last bit here there's swing one there's swing two stick a low on the low of swing one there's your break through it and close so stick a high on there consider going long when we've got a close through it and look how the price has reacted to it comes back to it and then continues up so and it's continued up all the way up to the high of that um, well swing one was there so there's your target hit there and notice how it's used it as uh, support as well and then continued up but the point is you could have used that um, daily to be reversal to enter into the um, monthly to be reversal so you could have entered there using a to be reversal um, to and that was the high that was the um, the uh, target for that daily reversal there uh, all the way up to there so you know that's that's an example of using them for the entries but uh, there's a 2b here you know they are absolutely everywhere you'll see it clearer on the lower time frame swing one two three so you put a low on there it's not the clearest example but um, and then trade the break of that one there that's the close through remember and look how price it closes through it comes back and tests that level almost to the uh, you know to the pip now if you drop down another time frame you could either use a 2b this this is a potential 2b reversal to consider entering or we can use our uh, 3 over 10 uh, alert so let's see if we can get into the guts of that little pullback there there it is there swing one swing two swing three here's the low of swing one so that's the candle that broke through it so once we close through there we can consider entering which would have been here after that close through there so uh, we could look at this if we can get into the guts of this pullback we could probably use a 2b reversal to enter a 2b reversal to enter a 2b reversal uh, to actually uh, take the target from the monthly so let's just see if we can get down a bit further the point of this whole video is to show you the pattern but really and truthfully it's to show you how as I said at the start the price uses um, the levels to such a precise level so there's swing one there's swing two there's swing three here's the close through 
so this becomes our trigger. Now something else I've noticed, you've actually got an, an, another 2B reversal within a 2B reversal. So you're protected from entering long. Because you haven't closed through there until there. So you wouldn't have considered going long until this point. And look how the price has used that again. But if we drop down again, because you've made a new low, you've actually got a new swing one, two, three. So you can actually put a low on the low of that swing one. hope you're following me, but you'll have to do your own research. This is now your new trigger bar, the one that closes through that low. So this becomes your entry. I know it's a bit of information overload, so that closed through there is your entry. And look how it's come back and tested it all again as support and resistance. Now there's another 2B here, but I don't think I'll get the data from that because we're going back to 2010. No, run out of data now. That's a shame. But um, So you get my point. You're using a, an hourly 2B to enter a monthly chart. It's just crazy. And that's how price action works. That's how the 2Bs works. But the point I was trying to make was the precision of these movements uh, of price. There's a 2B there, swing 1, 2, 3. Now this one would have been okay because remember I said split your trades or I'm not sure if I did at the start of this video. You could split your trades in two. Uh, the suggestion is you go for, uh, you get out of the trade at the first uh, resistance which is the first lower high and split the trade in half, take half off there let the rest run and uh, put your uh, stop at break even or we entered plus the uh, spread and you've got a free trade if it runs it's great if it goes against you then uh, you haven't lost anything you've, you've got half your trade in profit but um, you know I hope that's it really it's all about how I found price action so profoundly uh, amazing and the repeatability of the patterns and the fractal nature of the charts as well so it's just a different way to skin a cat and um, you know we've even got 2B here I can see that clearly let's go down to M30 there and there and you'll see swing 1, 2, 3 so low there That's your trigger bar, high on there. Once you get a close through there, you should expect the target to be somewhere up there. And there it is. Swing one, two, three, trigger, wait for the break. Even got the pullback to test that level again and noticed it didn't close below it. I mean, this is the price action in, in its in its glory if you like and then uh, the price has gone up use your lower time frame for the entry so we could say okay let's get here and here and watch what m5 does m15 m5 so um, you've effectively pulled back you could have entered uh, you would have had a, a cross to the downside on your 3 over 10 cross to the upside on your 3 over 10 you could have entered there entered the break of the high or you could have dropped down to one minute and watched your indicators it's just a different way to do it but it's 2b reversals it's price action in my mind just just mind-blowing mind-blowing how I'll just show you one last one minute if we get a 2b in here so you could say that's swing one, let's use that, that point there, swing one, drop down to one minute, hoping there's a 2B somewhere in here. So you could call that swing one all the way down to there. You'll be kept out of getting in longs because even though you've got uh, swing one, two, you could say, okay, we had a breakthrough, this one was the close, so the high of that one would have been the thing, uh, close through that, could have considered long 
wait for the pullback which I always suggest you do the pullback would have gone against you and you never got an entry then uh, you bring your you wait for another low that makes a lower high swing one two three wait for the close through draw your level on the high this is what I found astounding and you'll need to look it up yourself stop here target the high here entry the close above wait for your your arrow would pop up saying down wait for the arrow up and you're in into your trade that's a one minute example but it's just it's just, Vic Sperandio spotted this phenomena and uh, it's just amazing but most importantly it's just how price reacts here's a swing one two three price has come through that's the low that's the lower high that's the breakthrough that's your significant uh, candle wait for the close through there and for whatever reason this just shot away it didn't come back and test it now that's probably time of day or something you know a lot of news today we've got something going on here sorry if I'm rambling but that's swing one that's swing two there's the close the breakthrough <clears throat> let's just draw the high on uh, that candle high and you can see it significantly affected price now you could have considered entering as a right uh, a break there there's your pullback there's your entry <clears throat> and this might go either way it doesn't really matter but uh, first resistance is going to be here remember we're on the one ch one minute chart so oh and look it's uh, it's having a go <laughs> but uh, don't take my word for it just uh, draw your patterns on there and see how uh, you get on we've got all the data going back 15 20 years on this chart Aussie dollar um, to be reversals price action at its greatest in my opinion nothing else you don't need to think about anything else at this stage just watch how that price reacts to these levels there's even something going on here swing one swing two swing three there's uh, that's the significant candle level there and that is going up isn't it it's doing exactly what Vicky boy said the high of that candle there is the one I'm looking at there's the close through it there's the pullback and <coughs> price is gone so one two three two B reversals thank you for watching